Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new here. My name is Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis. We've been talking a lot about medications that can manage lichen sclerosis and you all know that the primal medical care that patients with confirmed lichen sclerosis get is corticosteroids and steroids like clobetazole, hydrocortisone and others. In today's video we will definitely talk about alternative therapy which patients with skin atrophy due to lichen sclerosis usually get. One of them is pimicrolimus or elidel cream and another one is protopic or tacrolimus ointment. So tacrolimus and pimicrolimus are considered to be less traumatic conservative therapy for lichen sclerosis. Of course, in comparison to steroids, phototherapy and laser therapy. Pimicrolimus and tacrolimus are not only being used by patients with skin atrophy, but also they are being used with patients with hyperkeratosis, which manifests itself as white patches with uneven surface, looks like a scar tissue. Steroids can cause burning, actual burns and withdrawal syndrome. And I'll put the link to the description of this video to the video where I explained you the mechanism the steroids work and why they actually can cause burns. Like any other medication, tacrolimus and pimicrolimus also have side effects, so let's talk about it. But first, what this group of medication does? Basically, they are immune suppressants, so they can rid you of inflammation by stopping your immune response to it. In oral form, people usually take them after organ transplantation to reduce the body's reaction to the foreign organ. In other words, they suppress immune system response and let the organ leave in the new body. In case of topical application on the particular area which is affected by lichen sclerosis or other skin condition, tacrolimus and pimicrolimus suppress the immune response of the T cells, immune cells, which get the task to kill, mistakenly of course, our normal skin cells due to lichen sclerosis. The leaflets for both tacrolimus and pimicrolimus tell us that the most common side effects from both medications are burn Burning, itching, redness, swelling, skin rush, acne, swollen or infected hair follicles, which personally I had a few times, headache, increased sensitivity of the whole skin for hot and cold temperatures, flu-like symptoms like common cold and stuffy nose, rarely upset stomach, muscle pain, swollen glands or mild skin infections and warts. What I personally experienced several times was a three to two days burning in the affected area after I started protopic or elidel cream. But this is totally fine. If the burning goes beyond three days after you started taking protopic or elidel, you should stop using them because this means that you have a personal intolerance to these medications. Also, if you notice any of those side effects, you have to immediately go to your doctor. So if this group is immune suppressants, can they actually affect the whole body or do they affect only locally? For example, the sensitivity of my skin appeared as a sun allergy. And unfortunately, it appeared on my whole body after five years of using protopic, which means that any part of my body experienced Post to the spring or summer sun starts itching, then small red dots appear and then the itch goes away the next day. So did it affect my whole body? Yes, but only the skin. So far, thankfully, I haven't have experienced any other side effects. But like I said, if you started experiencing some really bad side effects, you better tell your doctor about it and probably stop using this treatment and find another one. Please always check everything you hear and see on the internet. And remember that I'm not a doctor, I'm just a patient with lichen sclerosis and I just want to share with you my own experience and whatever I found during my extensive research. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found some new information in this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below. See you in the next episode. Ciao!